What's up, everybody? I'm Sam Mosher. And I'm Cameron Flatt. Welcome to this special edition of Spare the Skip, the Sam and Cam edition. We're doing our own thing this week. Sam and I chose three famous songs from different eras. All three songs have contested meanings, so Sam and I each are going to give the best, give the songs our best interpretations. To start it off, we've chosen the 1977 Eagles classic, Hotel California. To me, Hotel California tells a fairly standard story. A young man is driving on a desert highway one night when he finds himself nodding off. He pulls off at a church where a strange woman is waiting for him. He gets an, he gets an ominous place where he, he goes in anyways because there wouldn't be a story otherwise. What he finds is a group of outsider young men led by the alluring strange woman. They then drug his drink and try to murder and eat him in his sleep. Turns out they were a cult. It's a fairly classic story, heard it a hundred times. I don't know what type of stories you're reading, Cameron, but I see where your interpretation comes from, at least at the surface level. However, if you read into the lyrics, you can see the song acts as a metaphor for the dark side of American fame. Naming the song after the home to Los Angeles is the first clue. The story of the song itself is about an innocent and naive man being drawn into a sort of hell made up of champagne, parties, and sex. This self-destructive world trapped its people there as the guests even refer to themselves as prisoners. The ending of the song has the singer attempt to leave the hotel, only for the nightman to tell him he can exit, but he can never leave. The song is dark enough as it is, but once you see it as a story about the black hole of fame, it becomes even darker. Sam, look. Songs having any sort of deeper meaning than what is immediately apparent on the surface was a conspiracy made up by Coca-Cola in the 30s. It is spelled out right in the lyrics what the song is about. The captain says to the singer that they haven't seen that spirit here since 1969. 1969 was the year that the infamous Manson murders occurred. Manson's followers were essentially a cult of killers in California. These members were all outcasts and misfits he had gathered together. Thus the lines, some dance to remember, some dance to forget. And we are all prisoners here of our own device. It is right in the lyrics, Sam. Well, up next is Imagine Dragons 2012 hit, Radioactive, a song very clearly about a man getting readjusted to the world after being released from prison, right? He's been in prison so long, the world feels like ash and dust to him after being released. The song even has a line about getting off the prison bus. Now, of course, the chorus about being, whoa radioactive, can seem contradictory to my theory. However, I would argue he is talking about the very real struggle of the formerly incarcerated to rejoin the outside world. In our society, it can be impossible to escape from the shadow of a criminal record. This can make one feel radioactive. I rest my case, Cameron. Sam, look, you're overthinking this whole thing. This is a pop song. It played on top 40 radio stations all through 2012 and 2013. It is not meant to be deeply analyzed. If you take it for its face value, it is clearly from the perspective of your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Do I need to explain this? He was bitten by a radioactive spider. Do I need to say more? Yes? Okay. So the opening line about ash, dust, chemicals, clearly New York. Anyone who's read The Great Gatsby can clearly see that. Uh, prison bus? How else do high schoolers describe the school bus? Saying that this is the apocalypse is how teenagers feel every day, always exaggerating every little problem. Feel it in my bones? He is physically changing from the radioactive spider bite. Welcome to the new age? Spider-Man's story is a classic example of a coming-of-age story in which he changes from boy to man. The line about dying his clothes is him making his costume. Painted red to fit right in is him putting on the red costume and finally feeling like he can be accepted. That's all I got. You might have won me over on that one. Okay. <laughs> Our last song is The Police's 1983 single, Every Breath You Take. Listen, I have immense respect for my man Sting, but come on, I mean... It's, it's, about, about it's about stalking. People, People think, think it's sweet, sweet but it, it's, it's just straight, straight up creepy. creepy. I'm sorry, but any song with the lyric, I'll be watching you, cannot be romantic. Oh, can't you see? You belong to me. If I was a woman and Sting told me that, I would nope right out of there. Fast. Me too. And that is it for this week's Spare the Skip. And that's it for E23.